okay the second part of the uh, chapter 15 we want to show you how can we using a worker uh, to continues moving a customer or entity into the next stage so here I'm trying to adding another server and this server is we call this uh, safety deposit box Um, safety deposit so customer after the server uh, in the room service and they can have 45 percent of a chance uh, go to the safety deposit box so here I'm going to using a time path again okay and oh sorry let's do a regular path I think do it regular path uh, which is using for 15 meters and do want path over here so after they done with the safety deposit they leave the system okay they leave the system and then <coughs> also I want to make sure that the worker which is the banker actually go along with the customer as well so I'm going to do a couple things first I'm going to connect this one from the tea room portion going to the exit room portion then continue on and also I'm going to add a transfer node over here and putting another stopping no over there so the lens is well five meter and long so kind of rent this a little bit look, look nicer so this is what part of the things we have and also after the banker finish with the customer he could come back to his home node to pick up the next customer so this is pretty much finished the network <coughs> um, here we're trying to do is uh, after this service if the customer go in this direction uh, some of the customer for 55 percent exit and 45 percent going to the safety deposit so let's see how we're going to do that. okay we'll come back to the server room I look at that after uh, from the previous section I say after the processing time I'm releasing uh, the workers I'm going to delete that and actually we're going to using an add-on process to do a couple more work so I'm kind of delete this and putting the release block somewhere else so here I'm going to delete this after adding a process trigger mm -hmm over here so the process trigger we first decide is uh, uh, using uh, decide a 45 percent of chance going that way so I'm using probability based to decide and uh, using 45 percent okay 45 percent going through and 50 percent is leaving so therefore I can release the work uh, banker already on there and um, then we're going to see this part I'm going to adding to set no and setting the direction uh, for the regular customer I'm going to set it go to a destination called no uh, input exit uh, so this they're gonna leave after that or the regular one I'm going to set it to uh, goes to uh, safety deposit and that's all there's to it and also <coughs> I'm going to let the customer go there and 
also based on safety deposit after it is done with the processing okay after the processing for that part I'm going to release the worker as well so I'm going to copy this offer so I'm going to release the banker also so let's see how this going to work so you see that the uh, the worker didn't actually release let me see and the customer goes to the deposit and um, let's see just a second I'm putting some time to delay that portion so we can see a little bit better and okay let's see the processing time right here is random distribution per with uh, 10 minutes minimum 15 minutes most likely and 25 minutes uh, as part of the maximum possible time and if we run this you can see a little bit closer And the customer goes to the safety deposit loan, uh, and this, the banker didn't accompany them. So we need to move banker also to the safety deposit as well. So in that case, we're going to see how that is going to work. So basically, we're well, just going to go to the process, add on a move block, basically right here to move uh, the worker actually uh, worker to the destination node which is the transfer node and right here so this is uh, I'm going to change this node's name call T safety box node okay so I'm going to move the Mac banker over to that node select it again Okay, so the worker actually, banker actually, a company was uh, safe, uh, the customer goes to the safety deposit. After the customer is done, then we we'll release the banker. Okay, so this is pretty much what we want, but not exactly. I want you to, uh, I want to show you uh, in the slower motion. Actually, the bankers and the customer went into the safety deposit on independently so let's see that happening I'm going to increase this length a little bit longer from 15 to 50 uh, or 150 meter so you can see and itself actually it is happening like that so I'm going to use 3d to show you I'll zoom in a little bit You will see that actually the banker walk independently to the customer banker is actually walking faster uh, first into the customer so if we need to show again the banker is actually as a vehicle carry the customer forward we need to do a little bit differently so I'm going to come back to modify our program to do so so first I'm going to move the process execute not after the processing 
So I'm going to change this to no. And actually the same process, I'm not going to waste it. I'm going to use it as when it come into the transfer node. Okay. So add on process when we're entering this. Then I'm going to run that. Server room after running the same process. But in this case, I need to do a little bit uh, change. First, I'm going to uh, delete the move. Actually, I'm going to adding a right block. So I'm asking uh, <coughs> I'm asking the customer to write on this worker as a transporter. So I'm going to set the right and transporter's name is banker. So this is what I'm going to do. And then I'm going to switch the release back here uh, using both of them running through release. So I want to see right now how uh, this is process is going. Okay, how this process is going. Um, <clears throat> so make some changes. Customer arrives to the workstation. You see that actually the worker, once the moment the worker got released, it went ahead and picked up the next customer to serve. And this customer is waiting here to go to the safety deposit. So this is not what we want. And what we need to do is actually force uh, this worker, uh, the banker, actually use have this uh, customer as a first priority so this is we need to do some minor changes and right here what you need to do is actually <clears throat> before the right I need to assign a priority to those so I'm going to using model entity priority okay setting priority equals to two and when the customer just assign and I'm going to ask the bankers using priority instead of uh, uh, ranking rule so here I'm going to asking for largest value first and based on the priority and larger priority actually goes faster okay so here is what we're trying to do and transportation logic the test selection rule I'm sorry first in first out the task selection rule first in the queue so I'm going to choose the largest priority and first and based on the uh, entity. So here I'm trying to run this again. See what happened. Next customer arrive. Since this guy has a priority, then we're going to see that. And also now we see mm -hmm. after <coughs> the part was uh, uh, the customer arrives to the safety deposit and the worker actually just released. So we need to do something again. So before processing, I need to grab a worker, <coughs> grab a worker so that it's not going to go away. So this is part of the improvement process. We see what happened and gradually improve. And actually, we ask them move to the no into safety deposit no. So let's see that again, how the process is going.
Okay, in this case, uh, the banker actually carry the customer to the safety deposit, but it's not going into the safety deposit. It's waiting outside until customer's finished, and the customer went ahead and leave, and banker go back to pick up the next customer. This is exactly what we intended to do, and that concludes this section of uh, of. Okay, finally, if we run this real fast, we find mm -hmm. there's an error. We say, actually, we're trying to assign. Uh, here's the assign uh, block. We have a problem. It says, actually, uh, we cannot assign the priority for uh, banker itself. What it means is, actually, now I'm executing this after process on this uh, output node. And both the worker, bankers, and the customer are going through this node. So sometimes it's a uh, so-called model entity, sometimes a worker going through this node. They actually all execute this process. So I want to find a way so we don't execute this process if it's a banker. So here's the easy solution. All I have to do is adding one more decide based on condition. If this condition is a model, so if coming in is a model entity, then we execute. Otherwise, we skip. So that's what it is. And now we run it. We won't see any problem anymore. So this is conclude uh, the last part of I didn't find this error, but this is an easy fix.